All right, welcome back to the third part of the Hello World tutorial series, Hello World Smart Contract tutorial series. And in this part, it's gonna be very short and sweet. We're gonna get your contract verified on Etherscan uh, on the Robston Test Network so that people around the world can interact with it and have an interface for interacting with it. And they also know that the code that you're putting out there on the internet is what you say it is. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing you need to do actually to get your um, uh, smart contract verified on Etherscan is you need to set up an account. So um, I believe you actually have to go to the mainnet Etherscan and set up an account. So I'm currently signed in, but if you go to Etherscan uh, yourself right now, you can set up a new account. So sign up and then you'll, you'll have a free account. And the key thing is we wanna to go to API keys. So API keys um, is where you have the key that allows you to programmatically access Etherscan. And that's what we need to do if we want to um, verify our, our project. So you'll have no API tokens here. All you have to do is click add, uh, click like hello world. And uh, I'm just gonna delete these later. So I'll just, I'll show you, it doesn't matter. Um, so this one's called hello world and this is my API key token, right? So you just copy that and then put that back into your .env file where we have all of our secrets. And this one I'm gonna call etherscan um, API key. Okay, and now that we have the uh, etherscan API key, then uh, now we can actually set up our uh, new dependency, which is hard hat etherscan. This is a new tool. So let's go in here and clear that. We're going to install uh, dash dash save dev nomic labs hard hat etherscan. So this is an etherscan plugin for the hard hat tool. So let's install that. And then inside our hard hat config, we also need to load it. So this is uh, done installing. We go into our hard hat config and under hard hat ethers, we need to also load the hard hat etherscan and then we can call the verify command so this is going to be mpx hard hat um, apologies let me, let me do this here so this command is mpx hard hat verify dash dash network robston Remember, this is this is pretty common to all the previous steps. We gotta make sure we're on the test network. And then the key thing here is to put in the deployed contract address. So um, I saved it here in my environment variable. This is my contract address. And uh, also you have to make sure you pass in the argument that you use to deploy. So fortunately we have it documented here in our deploy script. We deployed with this string, hello world. So let's just copy in this whole argument right here. Hello world string. Cool, and then once you have the, uh, the address of your contract and the argument that you deployed with, then, um, oh, it doesn't like the double quotes. Let me copy this and do single quotes here. Oh, it needs to be capitalized. <laughs> Hello world. And then now we can wait. Please provide an Etherscan API token via hard hat config. I believe I did this. Let's um, make sure we have that there. Hmm. Oh, I forgot something pretty key. Um, I saw the error here. It says error in plugin, Etherscan API key. Uh, as an example. So we actually have to go in here and uh, add a new setting in the hard hat config. I forgot that after we required this module, that wasn't enough. We have to actually configure it here. So it goes etherscan. And then in this etherscan configuration object, we have this API key field. And that is where we load the uh, etherscan API key. And uh, I do have to load this variable. So I'm just gonna load it up here along with the other ones. And um, I'm not gonna put it in there just to keep it separate. 
Cool, so we have the Etherscan API key. Let's try that again. And there is nothing to compile because we've already compiled our contract and nothing else changed. Um, we are submitting, we have submitted our source code for contract and we are waiting for the result. And boom, it's successfully verified on Etherscan, which is great. Yeah. And uh, they provide you this nice uh, printout of the link so you can just directly click this. And now the cool thing, the really awesome cool thing is that in this contract um, in this contract tab on Etherscan, you can actually read the code uh, that lives there. So this is, you can see, this is very familiar, right? This is the smart contract that you wrote. Um, has a constructor, has the state variable, has the update function, uh, has these settings. I actually don't know what these settings are. The contract ABI. So it's like really super useful to for people, especially for people who are going to be interacting with your contract in the future. They want to know that the contract that you say you're putting out there into the world is the logic that you promise it is. And so having this type of a, a verification tool is really good. The other cool thing is that now you have these read this read tab and the write tab. The read tab, pretty pretty simple for our contract because all you can do is read the current message stored on the contract. So that's this is the new message. And then write contract is where you can actually modify. So if I wanted to modify this, I have to be make sure that my MetaMask wallet is on the Robston test network. And uh, then I have to hit this button, connect to Web3. Oops, move my bubble here. And uh, it says, please take note that this is a beta version feature and it's provided on an as is and as available basis. Basically, they're just like, be careful with it. Um, we're not liable liable for any like problems you have. And then you're gonna uh, have to sign the transaction to log in for the first time, but I already signed in before, so I, I think it's just connected. And then this gives me superpowers because now I can open up this update function and say, um, bloop, bleep, blop. And that's the new message that I wanna write to the blockchain. So once I hit write, it's gonna ask me, hey, are you down to pay uh, gas fees? I'm, I'm gonna say, yes, I'll confirm that. This is like pretty cheap for the Robston test network. And also it's fake money anyway, so I don't care. Um, and then a button will pop up that says view your transaction. So you can click this and you can see whether or not your transaction has been fully mined. So we can sit here and refresh for a moment. Um, these transactions do take a while, so. Okay, it got included in the next block. It took about 15 seconds. And uh, if I go back to read contract, then you can see here when I refresh, and click message, it is now bloop, bleep, blop. So this is super awesome. If you don't know what just happened here, let me recap it for you. We verified our contract on Etherscan, and as a result, I can now interact with the contract directly via this UI. So I don't even need a front-end website. I don't even need to write this deploy script using Ethers and Hardhat and whatnot. I can actually just click these buttons, connect my MetaMask wallet, and do what I wanna do with the contract. So, this is super cool. This is a superpower that a lot of people uh, should learn about. So awesome. This was a pretty long video. It's a pretty long journey, but hopefully I was able to kind of introduce you to a lot of the little details and uh, really high level you know, system of how everything connects so that you can get started in your smart contract development journey. And if you have any questions ever, you can find me on Twitter um, at that guy in tech, or you can uh, tweet at the Alchemy platform uh, Twitter account or you can just join us in the Discord. It's a really fun time. Uh, we're in there, I'm in there all the time helping people out, answering questions. And I love hearing your feedback because it helps me make better videos going forward and better documentation and all that good stuff. So thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, I hope this is useful. If it's confusing, please leave a comment and let me know. If it was helpful, please leave a comment and let me know. And uh, please tweet at me if you went through this uh, tutorial and I can retweet your, your experience and, uh, and, and celebrate your learning process. So once again, thanks, uh, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.